Hey guys, what's going on? I'm John Malecki, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this adjustable clamp rack. Check it out. All right, so for this build, you're gonna to wanna to get started by breaking down your sheet goods. You can manhandle them on your table saw like you saw me doing, or you can use your track saw or your circular saw. Then you're gonna to wanna to move over to your miter saw and start cutting everything down to final length. Mark out your diagonal lines and then you can cut it a few different ways on a couple different saws. Here, here at the band saw. Or back here, this one's my favorite. What you're gonna use is a brad nail to secure it and then I use screws to reinforce it. Now we're over in the drill press. We're gonna cut the hole for the top for the T-bolt and the knob to fit into. Here's a tip, when you're hanging something on the walls in your shop or in your house, screw the center in first and then level off the center and then screw in the sides. This doesn't work if you're not screwing in the studs or the wall itself, but I got wooden walls, screw everything. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. This project was really easy, actually. It only took a couple hours. I mean, what it does is just gives a little bit of flexibility in what's typically a standard project. What happened over the past couple years, I had a clamp rack, and then as everything started moving and changing, you know, I pick up more parallel clamps, more bar clamps, more pipe clamps, more whatever clamps, and then they just don't fit. So, with the adjustability, now I can move them around and make it a little bit more efficient, and it gives me a little more flexibility instead of having to rebuild the entire thing. If you dig this build, check out my blog, johnmalecki.com. I've got a full write-up and I'll have a plan for you as well that you can download and build this yourself. Also, make sure you're checking me out on Instagram. Get behind the scenes on what I'm doing each day. You get to see what's going on in the shop. One more time, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.